Hey guys, it's Alex here from Homey, and today we're going to take a closer look at Philips Hue. Now, Philips Hue is one of the leading smart home lighting brands on the market, and they're really focused on lighting. And they have a product range that ranges from indoor to outdoor. They have motion sensors and a few other accessories like remotes. Now, Philips Hue is an interesting brand because their devices run on Zigbee, and um, it's one of the only real brands that Homey works with where I would recommend using the Philips Hue bridge together with the Philips Hue app, especially when it comes to setting up your own lighting. That's just because they have a couple of key features that are really designed for that lighting experience, which, well, make it a great addition to your smart home and make it very easy to set up right out of the box. Now, I should say that it is very interesting to pair your Philips Hue bridge and account with Homey. That's because Homey offers a much wider range of smart home integrations than what Philips Hue offers. So for instance, you can connect with, well, let's say your blinds or curtains, so your sunshades, and have them connected to your lights, basically turn on and off when certain scenes are triggered or when you're turning on and off lights, all kinds of different things. You can go as far as saying, hey, when my smart lock unlocks, turn on the lights. Or you can say, when my uh, electric vehicle is plugged in and starts charging, turn on my lights or open my garage door. There's all kinds of different flow ideas that you can start creating once you add Homey into the mix. So that's primarily what I'm gonna be looking at in this video. So without further ado, let's jump into connecting up a light to Homey from Philips Hue. It's really simple to do. So I'm here in the Homey app and I have this light here on the right is not yet connected to Homey. The rest of these devices are. All I need to do is head to the plus in the top right, search for Philips Hue, Spell it correctly, obviously. Select the app, select the type of device I'm looking to pair, hit connect. And select the Hue Hub I'm connecting with and select the devices I'd like to add. Okay, so apparently I didn't have the Hue Bloom connected either. Now it is. So really it's that simple to connect your Philips Hue devices with Homey. Now at this point, you might be wondering, why am I connecting Philips Hue to Homey? What is Homey used for? Well, a lot of people, if you're a Homey user, you'll probably already know this, but if you're a new viewer to the channel, Homey offers a wide range of different integrations across the smart home market. And it doesn't really matter what protocol they're based on, Z-Wave, Zigbee, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, 433 megahertz, infrared, Homey's got that all built in. So it allows you to connect smart home devices to each other. And then using flows, you can automate them. So based on certain activities in a home, I want other activities or actions to happen. And it's, well, a really nice and intuitive way of doing that. So I've got Philips Hue, that does my lighting. Okay, great. But I also have some blinds hung up here. You can't see them, they're out of shot, but they'll come down in a second from Ikea. And those Ikea blinds are also Zigbee, but I want to use them via Homey using an Ikea remote I have here. And basically when the blinds go down like this, I wanna dim the lights in the room because when I'm closing my blinds, it'll become darker inside. And then I wanna dim the lights so it's at a more comfortable lighting level. Well, we can really simply set up a flow to do that. And actually I'm gonna hook into the flow I've already got set up to lower the blinds. Let me go raise them one more time just to illustrate when I lower them, what's gonna happen. But let's jump into flows here and you'll see that I have two flows set up. One Ikea blinds up and one down, really simple. Let's head into the down one, head to the den section and add a new card. So this is the action event that's gonna happen as soon as I press the down button on this remote here. What I wanna do is head over to Philips Hue because, well, it does my lights and I wanna set a scene. Now scenes are created in the Philips Hue app and we're gonna go over that in a minute and I'm gonna add a chapter down below. So if you wanna to head to that section already, I don't recommend skipping this, but if you do, you can head to those chapters and select it. But let's set a scene. And I've got a couple of scenes set up in the Philips Hue app. Now, scenes pretty much control the lights in a zone to your choosing. And you can set up scenes if you want them, or you can use predefined scenes like, for instance, City of Love or Miami. So um, let's use City of Love. In City of Love, I think just makes a romantic atmosphere with your lights, right? And now when the blinds go back up, let's add a action event for Philips Hue to set a scene. 
And in this case, I just want to, well, let's go to Energize. And this, I think, sets them all to sort of a whiter hue, but you'll see it happen in a moment. I'm gonna save that flow. So now I have Ikea tied in with Philips Hue via Homie, and they all kind of talk to each other. So let's lower the blinds and see what happens. You'll see that the lighting colors kind of dim down. They change a little bit. They have more ambiance to them. And my blinds obviously close. Really simple. Let's open them up again. Okay, you'll see that the lights come back on. Now that's a little bit too white for my liking. So what I'll do, and this is a great point to kind of explore the Hue app, I'm gonna change this scene in the Hue app. So this is my homepage. And um, you'll see the lights in my film studio zone. You can set up different zones basically to fit your home and then have your lights in certain zones and then select your remotes that go in that zone. And then the great thing about Philips Hue is those remotes will automatically control the lights in that zone. It's a really nice and easy way of doing it. Um, you can do the same thing for, well, less money if you're choosing Zigbee lights and a Zigbee remote from different brands, connecting them directly with Homey. Uh, for instance, one of our favorite lighting brands would be Inner. Uh, there's also Ikea lights, there's Akara lights, there's all kinds of different brands that have cheaper alternatives. What you'll need to do is kind of DIY some flows to associate that remote with those lights in a certain zone. So you gotta go in and do it yourself. Great for some people looking for that nice flexibility, but others just want things to work right out of the box. And Philips Hue is pretty good at doing that. So let's head into the zone. And here you'll see my scenes. Now these are the scenes that you also had available in the Homey app. So if you want to create flows using a scene, make sure they're part of my scenes. Now, for instance, let's choose a little bit more of a relaxing scene. So I'm gonna select relax. You'll see that all of my lights, again, change color, including the light bar behind me there. And now I have a more relaxed atmosphere. If I want something a bit more exciting, let's select Miami. Miami kind of has those bluish red tints to it, um, which is quite exciting. And okay, going a little bit deeper, maybe let's go into the hue scene gallery here. Then you'll see a couple more scenes for hue lighting. And these will all trigger for the lights in your zone. It's actually a really nice, kind of easy, intuitive way of creating different lighting. It's a little bit gimmicky. I'm not sure how often you might use it on a day-to-day -day basis, but let's say you have friends coming over for dinner and you want to show off your smart home. This is a pretty cool way of doing that. Obviously, homies, another cool way of doing that, but in terms of lighting, you can do it like this. So let's select, let's go for Rio. I want to know what Rio looks like. I'm going to add it to my scenes and you'll see it pop up here and then I can hit play and it animates as well. So you'll have your lights kind of slowly change hue and color and dim level and intensity for that zone during the time that this scene is activated. Really nice, well, not really a USP, but it's a really nice effect that Philips Hue offers. Now, you also might have seen automations here, and this is where Philips Hue kind of lacks a little bit. So they have very simplistic automation controls. So for instance, I'm gonna create an automation and I can select from a bunch of predefined sort of setups. So wake up light, go to sleep, maybe a timer, coming home, leaving home, or I can go into custom. However, all I really get is start at a certain time, end at a certain time, repeat during the week, and then, well, I can also randomize the times. Um, it's, well, it's not really the best if you're, you, you know, if you've been watching some of my videos, if you're, if you have Homey at home, maybe you're using Homey Bridge, maybe you're using Homey Pro, you'll see that the range of flows you can do is a lot more. So every device you connect to Homey comes with their own flow cards. You can then select from those, whether it's when events and conditions, then events, you have such a wide variety of automation or flow control using Homey. And that's really where, sort of the synergy between the two, so combining them comes into play. So you get a lot more power when you have Homey, a lot more, uh, let's call it flexibility, a lot more detail when it comes to automations than you get with Philips Hue. So if you want some more control, a little bit more, uh, like I said, flexibility, then it's a great addition. Now, I recently also did a video on motion sensors and I compared kind of the best motion sensors on the market, or at least a, a selection of the best. And Philips Hue did pretty well. I'll add a link in the top left, I believe, of this video. 
um, to go watch that. So while we're here in the app, maybe it's a nice time to talk about, well, a Philips Hue remote. And these remotes are, they're, they're, they're pretty simple, right? They, they work out of the box and you set them up in a zone with your lights in that zone. So let me hit the, uh, uh, let me hit the off button. And I've got it set up for this zone. So all of the lights in this zone turn off. Let me turn the on button, and they turn back on. Let's dim down. You'll see the lights dimming and dim back up. And they'll become a little bit brighter. So really simple. The nice thing about these remotes is that you can add them to the zone and they'll work right out of the box. You don't have to go and create automations for them. Basically say, you know, what button press does what to what lights. That all works really nicely and pretty much out of the box and seamlessly when it comes to Philips Hue. And that's a big plus point for their ecosystem. It makes controlling your lights a lot easier and more intuitive. For instance, I did a video on the Akara Magic Cube, and that's a really cool controller that you have a bunch of different possibilities with. You can flip it to different sides, you can slide it across the table, you can give it a tap on the table, and it does all kinds of different things. Now, that's great if you're adding that to Homey and you can kind of play around with it, and if you're the one creating those flows, then it's cool because you know, okay, you know, if I tip it over this way or slide it, then it does these actions. Now, if you have guests coming over or family and friends and they're fiddling with your cube and all the lights are kind of turning on and off and changing colors and all those kind of things, the experience is a little bit maybe lost on them or they find it a little bit too complicated. And Philips Hue does a nice job of keeping things simple and easy. Now, the great thing about this is the remote is paired to the Philips Hue Hub, which is paired to your Philips Hue account, which can then be connected to Homey. And then you can have flows run off of button presses on your remote. So, for example, I created that flow with the dim up and down on this IKEA remote for my IKEA blinds. You can actually associate it with this remote as well. So if I hit down or up, then that'll happen. Now, before I finish off this video, I just want to jump back over to the Homey app and check out what kind of flow cards are available for the devices I have connected. So let's jump over and I'm just going to create a quick flow here. And we're just going to take a quick look at the when events for different types of devices connected to Philips Hue. And this is just to inspire you a little bit about what flow cards are available for certain devices and to allow you to sort of, well, conceptualize, think about what kind of flows can I create if I add Homey to my Philips Hue or vice versa, add Philips Hue to my Homey. So let's jump in, let's head to Philips Hue and let's start with a simple light. So I'm gonna just select the colored candle. And what you'll see is you can have when events trigger, when it's turned on, turned off, or if the dim level changes. Great. Now let's select the Hue Smart button. Well, for instance, you can do the button has been pressed, it has been released, or is being held. So you get three different options there. Um, the Hue Dimmer switch, you'll see, okay, you can obviously notify yourself when the battery becomes low, which is a great thing to do for battery powered devices. You can select a button has been pressed, and then you can select from the, well, let me put it here next to it, different buttons on the remote. On button being pressed, increase brightness, dim increase, and the hue. Let's head back. Now let's take a quick look at, for instance, a motion sensor. And for the motion sensor, you get a couple more triggers. So you'll see that you have motion alarm turned on, temperature has changed, luminescence has changed, and well, it's up to you how to use these events. Now, bear in mind that we also have a thing called zone activity. And if you're not familiar with zone activity, I've got a few videos on that. I'll add a link in the top left. Go check those out. It's perfect for motion sensors, door window sensors, and having your lights react to activity in a certain zone. That's what it's built for. So make sure if you're interested in that too, Check out those videos. Now let's head to, and conditions are relatively straightforward. You'll have things like, okay, if it's on, if it's off, that type of thing. And let's head to the then section and we'll see what we can do with them. So you've got a few hue specific cards here. You have turn all lights off in a room, turn them all on, set the brightness of all lights in a room. So basically those zone controls we were talking about, set a scene, and then you can also do specific actions. And here you'll see well, the normal ones for RGB bulbs, you know, turn on, turn off, dim to, change color, that kind of thing. But we have a couple of Philips Hue specific cards, like blink the lights. You can do short blink or long blink. 
you can also do a color loop effect. So this is similar to setting up those scenes in the Philips Hue app, but then our version of it. So let's summarize a little bit. Now, Philips Hue offers a great out of the box experience. They have high quality lighting with a wide range of different controls. Also like you can dim very low, you can brighten very high, you can change the color to a bunch of different types and you have those scene selections in the app, which is pretty cool. You also get a bunch of accessories and everything works out of the box as you'd expect it. So you're adding a remote to a certain zone, it controls the lights right away, you don't have to do any tweaking to that. But, okay, that comes with a sort of down point. You also can't really tweak it that much. So let's say I wanted the on and off button to also raise and lower my blinds, for instance, or close and open the curtains or set certain things to happen in my smart home. But well, you don't really get those controls with Philips Hue. And that's really where this match comes in, right? It's a match made in heaven. You have a great system focused on your lighting, indoor and outdoor, with a few accessories. And then you have Homey, which is a platform, you know, looking at the rest of your smart home. Not only do we do lighting, but we also do things like, well, your blinds and curtains, your uh, thermostat. We have integration with smart speakers. For instance, with Sonos, you can have, when you're setting a certain scene to have also nice music playing. So for instance, the City of Love, let's have some romantic playlist. You can do all those kind of things with flows. Now you also get integrations with your um, solar panels, inverter, with your EV uh, electric vehicles. So that's a great way of just basically broadening the reach of only your lighting to the rest of your smart home. And we just launched a feature called Advanced Flows. And I highly recommend you to go check out Advanced Flows. I'll put a link up in the top left again to that video so you can go have a look at it. Now what Advanced Flows allows you to do is on one canvas, basically drag and drop all kinds of different flow cards and have them yeah, visually sort of set up or linked to each other. And that makes creating detailed flows, like for instance, with the blinds, I had to create two different flows. Well, you can do that all in one canvas and have a very beautiful setup for your smart lights. That's a really nice way of handling things. Now, last but not least, if you guys have any questions about Philips Hue, make sure to add them in the comments down below. And while you're down there, hit the like button and make sure you subscribe to the Homey channel for more awesome smart home content, specifically also looking at Homey and smart home control. And I'll see you guys in the next video.